And as you would see, I have these uh, libraries that I can uh, use. In this example, I can create unlimited uh, libraries. That you can, the great thing about libraries is that you can share it and collaborate with your colleagues. For example, if you have a photo, a, uh, a logo that you always use in your projects, you can just collaborate with that Creative Cloud library and then they can use it anytime. Okay? There are, there are two modes in uh, creating a library. Some, uh, the one would be if you want this to be uh, a collaborative effort that they can edit. And then the next one is that if they, you only want this to be viewable. Okay? Art video, yan, sir. Art video, sir. Even video, sir, if you drag the... No, um, I think video is a bit high on that. Uh, the assets would be colors, uh, colors, vector images, uh, as you would see here. Let's check. As you would see here, we have categories here, such as color themes, graphics, patterns. Uh, I have here some video, but... As you may know, here in the Philippines, medyo mabagal yung internet connection, so I'm not... Yes. Ah, you're... Okay. Yes. Uh, you can definitely do that, but the thing is, kung galing, kung nilagay niyo yung video dun sa libraries panel, syempre mag-synchronize siya, kaka hindi siya ng bandwidth niyo. Okay? Kasi lalagay niyo yun sa ano. So, it's definitely... You can do it, but Hindi siya ganun recommended dito sa Philippines. Alam niyo naman connection dito sa atin. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, kagandahan nun. <laughs> yeah, changes kami. <laughs> okay, so, as you would see here, if I drag, for example, a, a file. For example, if I drag this file to another library. For example, if I go to my Creative Nation library and then that, just drag this uh, file, this photo here, you would see that this would be uh, applied to this library. Ayan, okay. As you would see, nandito na siya. Okay? If I switch to my Illustrator file, and then I access my libraries panel, if I go here, pag nakita yung Creative Cloud logo, that's the libraries panel. Uh, I'm just going to... Okay, let's go here sa Creative Nation Academy library, and as you would see, automatic nandun na siya. Okay? If I drag it out, nandun na yung photo. Okay? No need to copy and paste. Okay? So that's Creative Cloud Libraries. Okay? Is it going to work, work with homes? Uh, not... Uh, like not. in After Effects, like you create homes? No. no, no. Like an uh, we have another solution for that. Uh, we have what we call Adobe Anywhere. Uh, that's a bit of... Uh, a bit off this scope. It's for video editors. If you want to edit, for example, uh, kung gusto nyo na isang timeline lang, pero apat yung video editor na sabay-sabay nag-edit, visual effects artist, pwede yung gawin sa Adobe Anywhere. And then regardless of the ge geography or the country that he is using, it's like using a, a shared cloud for video editing, visual effects, you know. But it's a bit more complicated yung Adobe Anywhere. Uh, it, they, they have the technology already. Okay? Again, uh, it only works on the following colors, graphics. You can also sync 3D uh, models inside of this library. For example, if you are using Adobe Fuse, Adobe Fuse is a new application that we acquired, and uh, you can create human 3D characters, and you can post you can post it to Photoshop with custom animations. Okay. That's a Creative Cloud library. So in Creative Cloud, in Creative Cloud libraries, and let's go back here. This is accessible through Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, Premiere, After Effects, Muse, Streamweaver, and Animate. Almost all. When the first, when the first Creative Cloud, uh, Creative Cloud, uh, Cloud libraries was uh, implemented, it's only Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign. But as you would see. As time progresses, lahat ng, ano, ng applications sinasama na niya. Okay? And another groundbreaking technology of Creative Cloud. Yes. Yes, sir. Yung asset mo sa library, once you drag it to the let's say, Photoshop, yes. and then you edit mo, magbabago yung nasa library. Meron pong tinatawag na uh, link, uh, link assets. 
Okay, when you drag the the, the, the design and then you make it as a uh, link asset, when you edit that, automatic it would update the library. When you update the library, the asset from other applications will update them. So is that the default option? No. Kailangan mo. Kailangan mo. You have to... Asset, it will save him as a library. Yes, yes. And also we have, um, I'm going to touch mamaya, uh, do yung tinatawag na read-only libraries. Because before, ang default niya, hindi siya read-only. When you send it for your collaborators to use, they can edit it, and then they can somehow screw your words. Okay? Mess your work. Okay? Uh, but now, we have what we call uh, read-only libraries. Okay, so I mean, uh, this is the core technology that we have in uh, Creative Cloud, which is you know, Adobe Active Sync. So Adobe Active Sync, when you place an object on your Creative Cloud libraries, as you would see, Kanina, on the background, it would automatically synchronize to the cloud. Ganun siya kabilis. Nakita niyo kanina yung reaction nung nangyari doon. Ganun siya kabilis. Okay? Yes. Yes, sir, again? It, it's dependent on the internet connection and uh, I think they have done a great algorithm or a great technology behind this because it's uh, Dropbox in a sense and then it's uh, it's it's not clogging your bandwidth because paunti unti yung sinesend hindi yung kunyari ang need mo is 5.4 MB of the file you're just going to upload 5.4. They segmented it into chunks para hindi siya interactive sa, ano, sa bandwidth. Okay? Uh, yes, sir. Again. So, sa creative cloud ba, yes. pwede kang mag-drag ng, ng parang save file. Ano yung .psd? .psd. Hindi na yung sa loob mismo ng app. Uh, what you can do is that you save that in your creative cloud uh, folder and then you collaborate on it. Uh, yun yung mas magandang way of working because uh, when you do that, uh, the PSD file, actually you can do that. You can just drag the whole PSD or you can import the whole, the whole PSD or AI or InDesign file, but you don't have uh, uh, a, a streamlined interface to, to manage your permissions, your... It would... Babalik pumunta pa rin siya sa web browser para makita yung permissions. So, we need that. Okay? So, Active Sync is the technology for that. Okay? And also, uh, isa sa mga advantage ng Active Sync is, uh, Creative Sync is that when you use your mobile app, for example, you use, uh, for example, in this one, they use an app, a mobile app called Adobe Draw. Illustrator Draw. Kung ano yung huling yung dinrawing dun sa mobile app, when you send it, automatically it would synchronize to your desktop. Okay? Uh, every app has what we call send to or share to. Tapos talabas dito yung mga applications available. For example, send to Photoshop, send to Illustrator, send to InDesign. And then you would see, magulat kayo, biglang lalabas yun sa, ano nyo, sa desktop nyo. Okay? Yun yung ginagawa ng Creative Sync. Okay, so uh, new in the 2016 June release is that we have read-only libraries. So as you would see here, before when we are trying to access a asset in this manner, for example, uh, let's go here. If I share this InDesign file and, um, for example, if I share this and collaborate, you're using the web browser for this. Uh, I can now specify that this person can only view the asset. Okay? Before, its default can edit. Okay? The problem is kapag you can edit it, hindi nyo gusto yung, ano, yung nangyari. Okay? So, yun yung tinatawag na read-only libraries. Okay? Let's go back to our slides. As you would see, uh, the, the next one would be the followable libraries. This would be implemented anytime soon. 
uh, para siyang uh, you keep track of the libraries that you have. Uh, this is not yet in in total release because the implementation would be uh, ahead from now. Okay? Uh, even if you check it now, hindi pa siya, lumal hindi pa siya lalabas. So that's uh, a heads up for you. Okay? Followable libraries. So um, some of the additional features that you have on the CC libraries panel, you have access to uh, Adobe Stock. If you, uh, if you use Adobe Stock, uh, you can see some of the results. For example, if you want to check for photos, illustrations, vectors, videos, and even templates, you can, you can verify that. Because before, wala siyang categories. Okay? And another is that you can see uh, videos on, uh, for example, 4K or HD version if you are searching for videos. Because dati, wala siyang way to check if HD to or 4K yung, yung media. Okay? Another one is that if you're using a uh, large monitor with 1560 plus pixels, yung sobrang high definition, uh, medyo nagkakaroon siya ng problema. Ngayon, naayos na nila. Uh, it can display that high. Ayos na yung rendering niya. Okay? So that is some of the new features that meron sa CC libraries, Creative Cloud libraries. Any questions regarding CC libraries? Uh, how do how would you implement this to your workflow, to your organization, if ever you're using Creative Cloud na? <laughs> okay, you just have to. Ah, uh, ganto lang yung collaborate feature. If you just, uh, I'm just going to go back here. Uh, let's open my browser. Galo kadali yung uh, collaborate feature. For example, if I share this whole folder, click share and then collaborate, I'm just going to specify, you just need the email address ng inyong colleague, yung inyong co-worker. Ganun na siya kadali. For example, if I type my co-worker's name, which is rcmiguel at creativenation.ph, creativenation.ph, you would see that you can give her uh, some permissions. For example, this one, she can only view it. Pwede niyo gawin yun. Okay? On her end, uh, pag-click yung invite, mag-email si Adobe sa kanya, sa email address na specify nyo, and then, uh, meron pa rin siyang paraan if she wants to accept it or not. Okay? So, di, meron pa rin kayong control if you don't want to collaborate with your colleague. Okay? For example, hindi nyo siya na-check. Hindi siya by default na mag-email sa inyo, meron na kayong link, hindi ganun. Okay? Yeah, it's totally safe. Okay. Let's go back to our slides. Again. So let's focus on the oldest app in the Creative Cloud um, or on, on the Adobe side. Uh, Illustrator is going almost, almost 30 years by 2017. <laughs> yes, almost 30 years. Uh, sobra, ito yung pinakamatagal na application sa lahat. So, uh, kalimitan sinasabi nila, Photoshop yung pinakamatagal. But Photoshop is around 26 years pa lang ngayon. Okay, 26, 27, give or take. Um, this one is the new, uh, this is the first app that they have uh, created. So, I'm going to showcase some of the new things inside of Illustrator CC 2015. So, on the new release, we have output-oriented controls such as export, uh, artboard exports panel. Uh, sino sa inyo gumagamit ng Illustrator? Who among you is using Illustrator? How do you export your artboards before? When you go to File, Export, and then you select the range of artboards that you have. On the new release, hindi nyo na kailangan gawin yun. You just have to open the Export for Screens and then you just have to check whatever artboard you want to export. Okay? And then, you can also export a specific selection within that artboard. Pwede nyo gawin yun. Let's demonstrate this. For example, if I go to Illustrator now, I have this uh, great illustration from um, Jules Verne. As you would see, it has a lot of artboards and... I want to export all of them. Okay? Let's go to file, and then meron tayong bagong option for export, which is export for screens. Okay? If I tap that, or click that, we have two options here. We have artboards, specific artboards, 
You just have to check and uncheck you, the one you like. And then you can specify the format of the export. For example, if you're uh, targeting for, for mobile uh, optimization, such as if you want for iOS, nandiyan na siya agad. If you want for Android, you can just click that and all of the settings, and if you want to customize it, you can just specify here, okay? You can also export, for example, if I want this to be SVG or PDF, you can just specify it again here, and then when you click export artboards, lahat ng sinelect nyo kanina, as you would see, 91 total exports. Saves you a lot of time, right? Rather than before, you have to do it Go here, and then there's no visuals, right? Hindi nyo makikita yung visually. Minsan nagkakamali pa kayo ng, alam mo yung export ng artboard? Happens to me all the time. And lagi, lagi, lagi nangyayari talaga. So, this one is really a time saver. So as you would see, we have two modes. If you want to export the artboards itself, or you can export the assets itself. Okay? For example, paano siya gumagana? Let's close this first. We have a new uh, assets export. For example, here. And the great thing about this is that... Close this. Uh, the objects that you drag here can be exported as a single entity or single object. Before, ang ginagawa natin ganito. When we click, for example, this lighthouse, for example, this one, how do you export this specific graphic? Paano niya ginagawa yung dati? Mayroon yun lang, pero white yung background sa likod. I-delete lang at tas yun lang yung titinang. Huwag niyo pong gagawin yun. Huwag niyo pong gagawin yun. Yes, pwede yun. Pwede po yun. On the... Yung medyo lumang release, ganito. If you go to file, meron tayong bagong ano, meron tayo dito kalagay export selection. Yan, meron tayo niyan. Meron po tayo niyan, ha? Okay. Meron tayo niyan, export selection. So pag ginawa mo yan, yung likod nun, Transparent. Kagandahan niya. Transparent yung likod nun. Okay? When you want to specify a specific object, okay yon. Pero, but what if, for example, nagbago ko yun ang isip. Uh, for example, this one. Baguhin ko tong uh, this one. Kagandahan itong ex asset export panel is that when I drag it here, para siyang CC library site. Pag dinag ko siya dyan, and then, kung naisip ko na itong asset na to, ay gusto ko pala iba ang kulay niya. Uh, I'm just going to reset my essentials and I'm going to open again that window. For example, binago ko siya. Ang gusto ko sa kanya is that gusto ko ibang kulay na. Let's say this one. Diba? You check on that uh, panel. Nakita nyo nagbago siya agad. Nagbago siya agad dito. You see? Lahat ng ginagawa mo doon, it would dynamically update kung ano yung changes mo doon, and then if you want to export this, ganito lang siya kadali. You click on export, for example, if I want to delegate this, all of the assets that I have, I click on iOS, and then, for example, I want all of them to be PNG or SVG, I'm just going to click export, and then, ibabato niya ako for, for example, I'm going to go to my desktop, I'm just going to create a new folder, for example, this one is export panel, click create, Click choose, and all of them would be exported as PNG files. Let's check. Let's go to export panel. All of them, some of them were uh, SVG and some of them are PNG. Okay? Nice, right? Okay. Walang palakpakan doon? <laughs> okay. As you would see, uh, here, we go back to Illustrator. And then, mapapansin nyo that, that uh, I only specified, this is the icon for export panel, I only specified this, kaya yun lang yung lumabas. But if I select all of them, for example, this one up to this one, lahat sila selected. Okay? Tapos, ginawa ko siya, in-export ko siya. Again, choose again. As you would see, if I replace this, imagine how much time did I save using this feature. Already, I've saved a lot of time. Right? Okay? What if you want to save each artboard as individual illustrator? Ah, uh, uh, no, you cannot do that. You can, ah, uh, okay, again, the question is, 
what if we want to export individual uh, artboards as Illustrator files? No. Uh, what we can do for now is export them as PDF. Wala pa siyang feature na ganun. Wala pa ganun. Uh, let's try. Kasi yung PDF, sometimes you can edit the PDF inside as AI file. Eh. Diba? Minsan ako ginagawa ko yun. Eh. But if you're going from AI file and then you export this as PDF, you can definitely see the vectors pa rin sa loob. Right? Uh, let's try. Let's check. In this example, let's uh, export this. Let's go to file. No, I'm on the finder. Let's go to file. Let's go to export for screens. And then let's export these assets as, let's say, PDF. All of this would be, you know, uh, isa lang. Okay? All of them would be selected and then let's export assets. Six of them would be uh, PDF files. So when we open this, let's check for the PDF. Uh, let's open this PDF into Illustrator and let's see kung editable pa siya. Uh, yes, actually yes. But the thing is, it's PDF. It's not AI file. Okay, as you would see here, it's still editable. When you go here inside, you can still edit all of this. Okay? Although it's not technically AI file, it's PDF. Yeah. Okay, sir? Okay. So, the next one would be, that is uh, the automation for exporting assets. Let's go back to our slides. Uh, another improvement would be, sino sa inyo yung gumagamit ng mga shapes? You draw shapes inside of Illustrator. Okay? But the thing is, uh, sometimes the widgets itself, yung mga heads-up display, nangyari sa kanya, when uh, it gets into your way. Why? Let me talk. Uh, let's go back to Illustrator. As you would see, uh, let's open your new file. Let's create a new one. And let's create this one. For example, uh, sino, na kailan, sino na sa inyo nakakaalam ng shaper tool? Okay. Only have one. Okay. So, dahil isa lang, let's demonstrate. Kasi di ba, iba, di pa nila alam yung shaper tool. Let's go, for example, if I want to create a circle, no, this circle, yan. Uh, if you want to create a triangle, automatically alam nyo yun. And then you can just brush this out. And then you can reposition this any way you want. Okay? Uh, before kasi gumagamit tayo ng Pathfinder or kung medyo updated tayo, gumagamit tayo ng, ano yung sumunod? Shape Builder Tool. Ang keyboard shortcut niya, Shift B. Ito naman, ang keyboard shortcut niya, Shift N. Okay? Yung kagandahan nitong uh, Shaper Tool. So, enough of that. <laughs> That's 2015 already. <laughs> okay. Uh, next would be... Uh, when we create shapes, for example, this one. And as you would see, if you use the widgets here, minsan, if you go, if you go sobrang layo na niya, nasa ilalim na siya, minsan hindi na, dati, lumalabas pa rin yung pinako controls. Ngayon, hindi na siya lumalabas. Unless you go zoom in, as in zoom in way up. Okay. Zoom in way up. And then, for example, if I draw something like a polygon, uh, this is some of the improvements inside of uh, Illustrator. For example, how do you um, how do you modify this? For example, ilang sides yan? Six. Six. For example, gusto kong going five. You select and then you delete. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we have a... Ito yung sasabi ko sa inyong widget kanina. Yung ito nandiyan sa gilid. Uh, uh, heads up display. For example, this one. I'm just going to drag this. And then I'll make this 5. Ganun siya kadali. Okay? So, ganun lang siya. So, as you would see, if I zoom in that enough, lalabas yung, uh, lalabas yung control. But if I'm not zoom in that far, for example, this one. And before, dati, ginagawa ng behavior nila, pag zoom in nila dito, dito nila dinadrag, which is uh, total bummer. Okay. So, as you would see here, you can just modify the controls and kung ano lang available sa inyo, that will be accessible to you. 
Okay, that's the improvements on uh, Illustrator. Uh, not much. Hindi siya masyadong ganun karami. Uh, ito pa. Uh, some of the improvements will be stock integration. So, if you check on the Adobe, uh, Adobe stock here, meron din siyang options. Lahat ng nakita niyong meron sa CC libraries, it's also available now in Illustrator. Uh, before, when you create a guide, tapos naka-hide siya, and then you unlock, ano nangyari doon sa guide? Naka-hide siya, tapos in-unlock nyo. Malalaki yung guide, ma-unlock. Parang pang-exam to, ah. <laughs> okay. Hindi, pag naka-hide kasi, that before, ang behavior niya, kapag naka-hide yung guide, tapos naka-lock, and then pag in-unlock mo, tapos naka-hide, ma-ano siya, ma-unlock ma ma siya. Ngayon, kapag naka-hide yung guide, and then hindi mo siya in-unlock, naka-lock pa rin siya. Basta, basta hidden siya, it stays locked. Okay? Unless you unhide it, and then you, you press unlock. Paano ba mag-unlock ng guides? View, guides, unlock guides. Okay. Sige. Okay lang. <laughs> okay. So, iba sa inyo dito nakagamit ng 20 ng Creative Cloud, right? Okay. Ito. Sige, mabigyan na akong isa pa sa mga bago para ma-appreciate nyo siya. So, before, kapag gumagamit kayo ng pencil tool, gumagamit ba kayo pencil tool o pen tool? Pen tool, di ba? Uh, kasi, ang pencil tool is not really good for drawing, right? Okay? So, nakita nyo may konting jitter ako. If you double-click on the pencil tool, we have options for the pencil tool. If you check on accurate, kung meron akong jitter, meron akong problema sa sa drawing, it would not interpolate the, the path as a smooth path. For example, if I check this, if I drag it to smooth, and then if I draw using this, kita nyo, ilan lang yung points? Diba? Diba? Konti na lang. So, it interpolates the pencil. Uh, maganda siya kung if you're using a Wacom tablet or a, you know, a device for a precision. Uh, sino na siya yung naka-encounter ng ganito when you're doing some clean up? For example, if I use the pencil tool again and then you I draw this kind of shape. Uh, how do I eliminate this? For example, I want to merge them as a, for example, this one. Yan. Paano ko i-merge to? Ang nandito lang siya, ang nandoon, and then, mawawala to. Gagawa ng points, tapos yung... Yes, oh, yung iba ginagawa, kuha ng scissor tool, click yung pinaka-point, tapos... Meron tayong tinatawag na tool na bago dyan. Ang tawag sa kanya is this one. We have what we call the join tool. Okay? So, using the join tool, you just have to brush this out. Yun na siya. Okay? So, kung may naging intersect na dalawang lines, you just... Okay? Pwede na stroke Pwede, pwede po. Okay. Yun yung medyo, ano ah, yun yung mga, medyo late na lang konti yon It's around 2014 pa yung release na yun. So, at least, uh, alaman nyo itong kodan. Okay. <laughs> Next. Let's go to, um, okay na tayo sa Illustrator. That's the, the new features na meron sa loob ng Illustrator. Uh, there's more to come. Uh, I just want to, I, I don't want to disclose it agad. <laughs> okay. So, let's go move on to the next uh, older brother, which is Photoshop. Okay? So, let's use Photoshop. So, we have uh, five key features that we can use. Uh, the one is Content Aware Crop, Select and Mask, Face Aware Liquify, Match Font, and then Create Pattern. Okay? In this example, let's go to Photoshop and let's move to this example. Uh, the problem with this photo is that hindi tama yung level, the horizon. Right? Okay, I want to straighten that out. Uh, what what are we going to use? Pang straight. Pang straight. Pang straight dito. Okay. Sino ko magamit sa inyo sa crop tool? And then you have what we call straighten here sa taas. Here? Yan, okay? So, bakit ganyan yung tsura niya? It's like a lever, uh, leveler. Tama ba? Uh, Okay? So, ang ginagawa niyan, if you click that, you can just draw the horizon from here to here, and automatically, naka-straighten out yung horizon. But the problem is, 
we have um, transparent pixels on the side, right? And then if we uncheck this first, are we lose some of the information that we have here, right? And if I press this and commit, yeah, it's a great photo, but some of the information is lost. What if we want to preserve the information and fill something on it? Okay, let's undo this. And then let's do again the crop. Oh, sorry, no. That. Let's go to straighten. And then click and drag. And then let's toggle this command, content aware. Okay, when you click content aware, it would see that we have transparent pixels here. And then if I click on commit on the top, automatically it would fill the gaps for you. Okay? Yes. If you're also familiar with creating panoramas inside of Photoshop, it also, it also has a technology like that, content aware fill on panorama. Do you want to see that? Okay. <laughs> Later. Uh, that's uh, no, that's Photoshop 2015. Oh, in content. Uh, okay, panorama. Let's move on. So, bago. Okay, let's go to, um, for example, as you would see here, what if I want this photo, naka landscape siya, right? What if I want to add more information, for example, sa taas and then sa baba? Sa taas and sa baba. Uh, what I can do is that I can just also crop this again. And then, if I want, I can just drag it up or down here with my content aware selected if I click commit it would automatically fill that for you okay as you would see may some imperfections but we all know that we have what we call a new tool called uh, or for, for some an old uh, new tool uh, this one is a bit old so you can just do a spot healing okay New spot healing, as you would see. Um, medyo okay na siya ng konti. Or this one would be a, a little bit. So it saves you a lot of time rather than just uh, who among you is using option, click, option, click. Uh, cloning tool. Okay. And then, let's go down here. As you would see, meron tayong inconsistencies. Let's just drag this. Let's click some of them. And as you would see, maybe we can just uh, emulate something that won't be repeatable okay so you can uh, extend as you would see meron dito nagpareho na pattern you can just brush it up and then okay okay so let's move on to another feature that we have called <coughs> no not that one this one is called uh, face aware liquify okay so using face aware liquify, uh, who among you is using liquify when you want to edit a model or uh, you know? Okay. <laughs> right now, it has a technology to to detect the face, face palang po, only the face. Yeah, that's why it's called uh, uh, content aware, uh, face aware liquify. Saan makaroon ng body aware liquify? <laughs> okay. Again. If you're aiming for that, you just you just have to use liquify the old the old fashioned way. So let's go to filter and then let's go to liquify. And then you would see by default if you click this button here, face tool, or press A, it would automatically detect the face itself. So when I zoom in, I can make her face uh, his face, for example, smaller, larger, with some extent. Okay? Yeah, for example, his nose, I can just make his nose a bit this, like that. For example, his teeth, his smile, I can just I make it that. And then I make his, yeah. And for example, uh, ako, ano rin ako dito, I'm also a victim of this. If you have a large forehead like me, that's why I have hair. <laughs> you can certainly do that, okay? Uh, if you want the visuals here, or if you want, you can also modify the eyes if you want. Can just make his this one, this one. But as, you, as uh, but as you would see, it would reflect on the right side of the uh, of the panel itself. For example, uh, if you want this by the numbers, you can just do this by the numbers here, or visually you can just tweak it here. Okay. Okay. 
This is very new, right? Okay? Face aware liquefy. I'm just going to click OK and as you would see, you can just do that. Uh, you can also do it again if you want. <laughs> liquefy and then you can just make it again. For example, I want to make his face smaller than usual. Again, you can just do that. You can just create some crazy things with this. Okay? Okay? So, it's great, right? Okay. All right, let's close this. Let's move on to another feature, which is not you again. <laughs> okay. So before, uh, who among you is doing some um, extraction or extraction extract jobs? For example, if you want to knock out a certain uh, background, okay? You nag, nag extract kayo ng, ano, ng ng model, for example. Meron kayong ginagamit ng uh, Either white yung background, which is bad. Or green, <laughs> okay. Uh, some ano lang designers fun. Okay, as you will see, this was shot on a professionally uh, the uh, method or way. Uh, kasi may green screen silang, silang ginamit dito. And before, if you want to extract this complex of a art, what would you do? Okay, ano yung ginagawa natin before? Oh, I'm going to use the. Select and then let's go and use the channels and then let's uh, brush things up. Ganun. Okay, some of them would be using the pen tool and then yeah, right. Okay, uh, in the new version of Photoshop, we have what we call uh, if you're using Photoshop like uh, CC version, we have what we call or CS6 version, we have the refine edge command, right. Okay, but now refine edge is not yet not na, uh, is not available. It is totally revamped into a new one, which is this one. Um, if I select this, I'm just going to unlock this first, and then let's select using our uh, quick selection tool. For example, this one. Okay, we have an option sa taas, which is yung select and mask. Okay. So if I click that, you would see that I can now, there is no refine edge. Okay, ito na siya. So if I want, I can just go, I'm just going to brush this. Uh, you can just see, for example, let's make this on black. And then you can do some fine touches for this. Okay. Let's make this uh, on black. And you would see. Mas responsive yung refine na uh, selection using this one. Okay, let's go back here. For example, I want to make this uh, as extensive as possible. Uh, for example, this one, this one, this one, this one again up to here, to here, here. Okay, and then let's move here. Mas mabilis siya. And also, we have a new brush for this. Uh, the one I've been telling you is this brush, which is uh, Refine Edge Brush Tool. So if I tap that, you would see that yung logo, parang ginawa, pala, ginawa talaga siya for fine edges or fine uh, for hair or something like that. If I tap this and then just brush it, uh, brush it here, you can see uh, it can claim some of the uh, information that we are aiming. For example, if you want to smoothen this out, to feather it a bit, and then, for example, let's select this and with a new layer mask, click OK, and as you would see, I can just go again here, let's uh, go and select mask again, and then just highlight some of this. Uh, I don't have time for selecting all of this, but uh, you would see there's a new interface when you're using the selections inside of Photoshop CC 2015.5. Okay? So, baka si magulat kayo, iba na yung dialog dati. Okay? Yung dialog before, maliit lang yung, pan, yung, ano, yung panel sa gitna. Hindi siya ganun ka-efficient. Okay? Yes, it, this one is very interactive and the algorithm that was uh, implemented here is awesome. Mas, ano, mas maganda. Uh -oh. In a matter of seconds, nakita nyo, I, I just brush some of things, okay, other than doing this. Okay, let's cancel this and let's close this. 
Let's move on to another uh, feature, which is not you again. <laughs> okay, so before, uh, if you're familiar with Typekit, as I said uh, earlier, the thing is that if we don't know our fonts, sometimes we mess up and uh, post sa forums, right? But now we have what we call match font technology. We just have to select a graphic, for example, this one. I'm just going to, to select Las Vegas here. Okay? You go to type, then you click match font. Automatically, it would search online using Typekit and give you recommendations kung anong font ang pwede yung gamitin para doon. Okay? For example, ano ba yan? Uh, somehow, this one is similar to this one. Yung, uh, what, what's this font? Paano pa pagkakaroon nyo ito? Hypatia Sans Pro Bold. So, you just download it using Typekit and then you can have access using that. Okay? You just have to select, marquee select and then go to type and then match font. It would give you some recommendations but as you, you may know, hindi lahat ng recommendations is tama. We'll just give you some recommendations for that. Okay? That is match font. Okay? Okay, let's click OK. Next is that we have the option now to create patterns inside of uh, patterns inside the Photoshop. As you would see, this one is a very heavy in or intensive pattern uh, design. And paano natin nakuha yung mga patterns na yan? We use a mobile app, which is this one. Uh, a mobile app called Capture CC. Sino sa inyo nakagamit ng Capture CC? Anyone? Capture CC? Okay. So, wala pa nakakita sa inyo Capture CC? Hindi nga talaga. Baka binibiro nyo ako ha. <laughs> okay. Ito yan. So, et, yung ginawa nyo dito is that you just have to shot an image and then it would generate a pattern for you. And the good thing is, when you create a pattern, you can just modify the pattern itself. You can scale it to, to your heart's content. For example, this one, if I scale this for, let's say, uh, 50%, tignan nyo muna sa igil ha. Napansin nyo, nagbago siya. Dynamically, you can just extend the patterns. Okay? So, when you create the pattern, you can just modify the pattern itself. Para siyang lumalabas sa vector, pero it's not vector. It just repeats on itself. Okay. It's high res. It's uh, dynamically expanding as you create the pattern. Okay, for example, if I want this, uh, I'm just going to select another pattern yung medyo pansin na pansin. This one. Uh, sa loob niyan, we have a pattern here. For example, this one. If I double-click that, and then, for example, I'll just make this, let's say, uh, 23%. Medyo malaki yung pattern na to. No, not this one. This one. If I scale this, for example, this one, Nakikita nyo on the background, magbabago yung pattern fill niya. Which is this one. Ito nga this one? Ayun, ito pala siya. Sorry, ito. Nandito siya. Nataas. Okay? Medyo napaka, ano na to, napaka um, intricate na ng design. In this example, let's make this 15, 45. As you would see yan, no? Okay? If I make this, let's say, bigger, magbago rin siya. Okay? Okay? Yes, uh, I'm going to demonstrate it for you. Okay. The question is, it's a mobile app. Okay. Okay. But if I click OK and then let's go to my uh, phone or my uh, iPod, uh, I have a recording session here. For example, this one. If I go to QuickTime Player, uh, this is my actual phone. So in this example, uh, I'm just going to close this so you know all of the apps. For example, I have two apps installed here. I have Adobe Capture CC. This is for free. You have five types. Uh, for example, if you want to create shapes, you can just have to, you just have to create shapes. You tap on the plus button. For example, I just want to create a shape using this. Okay. Oh, I'm going reboot. Technical difficulties. Okay. Let's wait. Okay. I don't know why, pero bakit siya nag-reboot? Naka-charge naman siya. Okay. Again, let's move on. Uh, pagkatapos siya mag-reboot. Uh, mag okay. 
So, some of the improvements na meron sa Photoshop, ang daming improvements sa Photoshop. Uh, some artboard improvements includes, you can now create uh, artboard backgrounds, can be white, black, or transparent. Uh, you have easier duplicate options using artboards, using the layers menu. Uh, again, sino sa inyo ang uh, nagpa-pray dati pa na sana magkaroon ng glyphs panel sa Photoshop? Uh oh, anyone older than me on this? <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. What's what's a glyph? For example, what's what's a glyph? Para sa mga glyph, yun ba yung pagano pag uh, nahulog kado pa kay ka glyph? And that clip pala yun. Okay, <laughs> it's a it's a alternate uh, appearance of the character ng unang font. So that's why. Kaya minsan mas mahal yung font na maraming glyphs because maraming versions yung nandun sa ilalim na yon. Lalo na pag yung font is pro, yung mga Minion Pro, yung mga Caslon Pro, di ba? Yung mga ganun. So, mas mahal sila ng ganun. So, sa Glyphs panel, you just have to do this. Uh, when I go to Photoshop, for example, if I uh, type a, for example, this one, text. No, not text. <laughs> if I highlight this, hindi lumalabas yung Glyphs panel. Why? Hindi naman ako siya yung panel. Dito siya. Because, for example, this one, I have, um, eto dati walang glyphs panel sa loob ng, ano, ng Photoshop. So, you have full control of the glyphs or the objects inside of that uh, type. Okay? Dati wala to. Okay? Sa InDesign, kapag sinelect nyo siya, lalabas agad yung alternates niya, yung mga glyphs na available. Sa Photoshop, uh, I was wondering why it doesn't work like this. So, in design, automatic yun. Okay? Any questions regarding Photoshop uh, updates? Are you happy with this update? <laughs> okay. Uh, bumalik uli yung favorite natin, yung oil painter filter. Sino gusto nyo gumagamit ng oil painter filter? Yung parang gusto nyo gumawa ng, ano, if you want to create a photo na lumalabas parang painting, yan, yun yung ginagamit doon, yung yung feature na yan. Okay, dinagdag na nila uli yan. Uh, dati tinanggal nila yan nung ano eh, nung uh, CS5 okay siya. CS6 tinanggal nila. CC, medyo buggy. Tapos, yun. Okay? So, let's focus now on Lightroom. Uh, who among you are Lightroom users here? Photographers? Yan. Okay? So, we have a few of them. Okay, so, ganda nung bagong uh, screen, uh, splash screen, but let's not focus on the splash screen. Let's go to Lightroom itself. We only have two new options or two new features inside of Lightroom. Uh, one would be this one. We have the boundary warp when you are creating panoramas and also a better dehaze effect or a function. Okay, let's go to Lightroom and then how do we create panoramas inside of uh, Lightroom? In this example, you see, parang magkakaroon siya ng problema, right? Bakit siya magkakaroon ng problema? Sa katigyan nyo dito, hindi consistent na, di ba pag nag-shot ka ng panorama, ganun? Pero nakita nyo dyan, hindi siya ganun, di ba? So, merong nag-overlap dito, may dito hindi tumatama, ito hindi tumatama, ito hindi tumatama. Uh, Lightroom is that, uh, is intelligent for it to know na dapat magsasabay-sabay sila. Paano natin malalaman? Let's go to photo. And then let's go to photo merge and then panorama. As you would see, Photoshop, I uh, Photoshop, uh, yeah, well, Photoshop is also Lightroom. Lightroom is Photoshop. So. Uh, Lightroom is now detecting that it already has stitched these photos in unison. Okay? But the thing is, if you click on auto crop, you lose some of the information that we have, right? I'm going to uncheck this and then just drag on the boundary warp. Look at the edges. Okay? Do not blink. A stretch siya. Okay. What? Okay? So when you click merge, they just created a panorama just that easy. You don't need to be consistent. Okay? Yes. Okay, so ito, na-create ko na siya. I've created this panorama and you would see. Okay, let's go back. 
And let's focus on the new if uh, on the improvements on dehaze. So where can we find the dehaze function? How do we go to the develop module? What what key do you need to press? No, I'm just going to press on the develop. <laughs> no, okay. no, you press D. Okay, press D. Yeah. Okay. So when you press D, you go to the effects panel here, effects uh, drop down, and you just drag the haze, as you would see here. New mm. features. Yeah. Uh, this one is not not a new feature, but the algorithm inside of it is uh, improved, right? Uh, for example, I'm just going to reset this, and then for example, if I want to add add more haze, I'm just going to drag it. Babalik sa kabila naman side. Okay? We we'll just do that. Okay? Reset. Okay. Lalo na kung uh, if you're doing uh, shots from a mobile phone and then medyo hindi ganon ganon quality. You just have to drag the dehaze function here. Okay? You are heard live. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's Lightroom. Let's click, uh, let's click on uh, close. Let's move on to another application. Alam ko, medyo may, uh, we're going over time, a bit over time. What's the time? Okay, we only have 30 minutes here. So InDesign, who among you use, is using InDesign? Any InDesign users here? InDesign, okay. Okay, so what's your InDesign? Hopefully, if you're using InDesign for the longest time, you would be complaining that all of the icons and the interface is so, so small, even if you have a, a higher resolution screen. Sobrang liit nung, ano, nung interface niya. And then when you drag your mouse, sobrang liit din ng mga icons. Yon. So what we did is that we we nag the we nag the product managers to make it bigger. <laughs> okay, so as you would see here, before uh ganito kaliit yung uh, character panel as you would see here. And ngayon, medyo mas malaki na yung character panel. All of the interface is much more bigger. You see? Kasi mas madaling mag-control if you have bigger targets. Uh, who among you is familiar with Fitz law? Fitz law. Anyone? Fitz law states that if you have a bigger target which is closer than you, it's probably more efficient to target that. Pag mas malaki yung interface. Okay? So again, that's Fitz law. Additional information. Okay, again, uh, before we don't have uh, GPU acceleration or GPU performance inside of InDesign, now it's fully supported inside of InDesign. Okay? Before, an illustrator doesn't have uh, GPU uh, acceleration or performance, but now it is uh, already cascaded into InDesign, which is dapat ginawa na lang noon pa. Okay? If you're into the zooming thing, uh, if you're on a Mac, we have animated zoom. Okay? Uh, if you're using InDesign in conjunction, in conjunction with other users, for example, if you have uh, other writers, for example, using InCopy, Okay, anyone trying to demystify their, themselves about InCopy? Sa para saan ba yung InCopy? Nakita nyo na yung InCopy? Have you ever tried to open InCopy? Para saan ba yung InCopy? Okay, yung InCopy po is a way for you to talk to InDesign and then, for example, if you have an InDesign document, automatically you would see may padlock siya. Napamansin nyo ba yun? Na hindi nyo siya may edit ng sabay kayo? By using InCopy, you can edit the same InDesign file using that application. For example, you have a single InDesign file, and then you have seven writers writing on the same InDesign file. You can do that using InCopy. That's the InCopy InDesign workflow. Uh, we have a session for that. No, sa Graphics Expo, we already did that. Okay, plugin. <laughs> okay, let's go to... Uh, yeah. In that conjunction, we have shared network protective shutdown. So what happens is that when your file is on the network and then you access it, if it's less than 100 MB, you can just save it and then not lose your work. If it's less than 100 MB. Okay? But if it's greater than 100 MB, we have a problem. We have an, or an error like this. See? Okay? 
shutting down because uh, pag nawala yung connection nyo sa pinaka InDesign file, hindi nyo masasave. And then, it would automatically shut down. Your changes will not be saved. But now, it would give you an option to save it to your